What's up guys, you're watching Tuck TV and today we are going wireless. So today I'm here to talk about the Boss WL20 wireless system. I picked this up a couple of months ago. Uh, I bought it from Amazon.com for around about $190 which at the time was just shy of uh, 14,000 rupees. Uh, luckily I had a friend coming down from the US so I was able to save on the $30 shipping fee. Um, and honestly, it's the best 14,000 rupees I've spent to date. Now, when it comes to portable wireless, it of course has come a long way, uh, which means there is a lot of offerings that are there in the market. Um, you know, we've got the Boss, we've also got the X5 series and Nux, to name some among, uh, you know, the popular brands. Within the Boss series, you essentially got three, You've got this, which is the WL20. You then have the WL20L, which is the same thing, but without cable tone simulation. I'll touch upon that a little while later. And then you have the WL50, which is basically a pedal version of this. This version of the WL20 does is it goes ahead and emulates cable tone simulation, which means uh, it is going to create a simulation of a real world environment assuming a 50 meter cable and if you go by the laws of physics if you were to connect a 50 meter cable you are going to have some resistance which means there is some amount of signal lost and what that generally translates to is a mild roll off of the higher frequencies now that honestly works for me and isn't really a big deal but if you are particular about it and generally if you were using active components you would then go ahead and use the WL20L which is essentially meant for high impedance instruments so like guitars with active pickups or a keyboard for example would fit into that. Having said that it's not that you cannot use this with an active uh, guitar I am using it with my ESP uh, Alex C200 which has an active pickup I'm not facing any problems with it the reason I bought this is because that's sort of my only guitar which has active components. I have uh, all other guitars which are basically passive pickups. My bass, despite having an active EQ, is also with passive pickups. So coming back to the point, can you use this particular model with actives? Absolutely. I think it comes down to the configuration of your input jack. The possible issue that you might end up facing is you may have either some sort of disturbed audio, you may not have audio at all. And if you're in that situation, there is a remedy to it. Uh, I have linked the document down in the description along with the page number. And it's a very, very simple remedy. I mean, essentially, you just have to use it with an adapter or some form of cable extension and you're done. So let's get down to business. This is what the WL20 looks like. Uh, I'm also going to put some photos in case you cannot see this. Uh, this essentially is the receiver and this is the transmitter. Uh, both of them have uh, USB connections which you can uh, basically use micro USB to go ahead and charge. Now coming to what I really like about the wireless system is how simple it is to pair and use. Uh, now be most of the wireless systems in the market there is a lot of pairing that has to be done uh, and in case of some of the guys like Nux or XY there are some reviews where they talk about you know pairing not being that straightforward and sometimes you know there is issues and mid-stage it goes ahead and loses pairing and all that stuff. This on the other hand is using Boss's proprietary technology and all you have to do to pair it is essentially take your receiver and plug it in to the female component on the transmitter. So all I have to do is this. And you see a light go on both of them and you're done. Now all you have to do is plug this into your guitar and this into whatever it could be your amp, your processor or your input device and that's how simple it is to use. Now what I also like about this is once you've gone ahead and plugged it this way uh, you just have to input the charging cable into any one of them. I normally put it in the receiver and that will go ahead and charge both these devices. So on that front it's extremely simple and convenient to use. Next up, I have to say the battery life on this is really, really good. So Boss advertises about eight hours, eight to 10 hours essentially of uh, playing battery time. And it definitely seems to deliver on that. Since I do a lot of bedroom jamming on an average, I would play every day for about anywhere between 45 minutes to about one and a half hours. 
and I can go ahead and use this easily for an entire week and I don't have any issues. Although sometimes the light turns amber, uh, it's not like I'm having a signal drop or any of that. It plays perfectly. In terms of range, this essentially is a simulation of a 50 foot cable, which means you have the range of about 50 feet. Uh, now, I of course stay in a house which is approximately 1500 square feet and I have gone ahead and used it all the over home and I didn't have any problems with it. I also have to say what I really like about this apart from the range is the lack of interference that you get uh, with this uh, wireless system. So, you know, I played with Mutiny, we played a particular pub gig and the stage was approximately about 20-25 feet in terms of size. So while range wasn't my concern, uh, I was concerned about, you know, interference with other devices and it being a pub gig, you know, there's radio frequencies, uh, mobile frequencies and all of that. This guy did not have any trouble at all. As mentioned, once you go ahead and pair this, you sort of done. And after that, what it does is it picks which is the best frequency and channel it should be on and functions that way. So I used it with bass on stage and I had absolutely no problems at all playing that game. And finally, of course, Boss talks about having an extremely low latency on this. They talk about 2.3 milliseconds. Uh, and essentially what that means is from the time you pick the guitar, you, should, you shouldn't have a lag in terms of what you're hearing. And honestly, I couldn't pick up on any. In fact, to demonstrate this, I've got a couple of samples which I've played on the WL20. And then I played the same samples on cable uh, just to show you, you know, sort of what it actually sounds like and if there is a difference at all. I didn't pick up on any, but you could let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Make sure you're using good set of headphones or speakers to hear this. So finally, is the Boss WL20 worth your money? My answer is yes. So this is a device that ships to India. I've currently seen it on Amazon for about $200, which uh, considering that the rupee is at 74 to the dollar, uh, it's gonna charge you about 14 or just under 15,000 rupees, you could say. Assuming there is a $30 shipping fee as well, it still comes up to around 17, 17 and a half. And that is still cheaper than the XY View 2, which I've seen on Bajao for about 18 and a half thousand rupees. Now, there's nothing wrong with the XY View 2, it's just that I've not used it. And when I go through uh, some of the reviews, I have seen that there are a lot of people talking about pairing issues and all of that, which definitely not there with this. In terms of a cheaper alternative, there definitely is the Nux B2, uh, which definitely would be cheaper. Again, I've seen it on Bajao for about eight or nine thousand rupees. But with the Nux, there have been reviews talking about how that is loose on certain instruments. And if you're playing uh, with a wireless kit, you know, if you're playing on stage, there's a good possibility you're gonna get carried away or you definitely want to sort of rock out to your favorite tune. The last thing you want is the wireless, you know, getting disconnected and all of that. Definitely not a problem. Uh, on the WL20, I played it on all sorts of guitars. I've used it on a Strat. I've used it on a Les Paul type of guitar, my Sammy. Uh, AV6. I've used it on an active guitar, which is a Flying V. I've used it on bass. I've used it on a seven string. No problems whatsoever. And if you ask me, it's 2020 and definitely is time even for the bedroom jammer to consider going wireless. I mean, 
since I've had this for a couple of months now, uh, I definitely think it's a boon. I am developing a small hatred towards having to deal with wires and that's where this is great. So you know, every time I want to play something, I want to practice, I just have to plug this in and I can sit anywhere, you know, in the room or somewhere outside at my convenience and uh, strum out a practice. And at the end of it, you know, it also helps that you don't have to deal with the cabling, so you don't have to like collect all your cables and arrange it and all of that stuff. But of course, it comes at a cost uh, and if you're willing to go down that route, I definitely think it's a good investment. In terms of quality, unless you have some amazing gold tip cables and all of that, I for one feel that the quality of this wireless system is great, if not better. In fact, some of my cables are quite old, so if I have to compare it, this definitely sounds way lot better. In terms of battery life, no problem at all. I mean, you can go an entire week, assuming you're playing 45 to 90 minutes a day. So those are my thoughts on the WL20. What did you think about it? Do you own a wireless system? Do you own the WL20 or the other versions of it? Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see. Subscribe to our channel for more content. And until next time, stay metal.